Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP scripts and in the previous video we started yes how to call a SAP script from the driver program and we have written the whole logic in the driver program itself we will not write the logic in the SAP script. So what we did? We designed the SAP script. Yes, we did everything. We have written the logic in the program and our data is in these two internal tables. Now, how we will pass this data to the script so that it will display in the script. Now, most, most important thing, we will make use of three function modules. Now, what are those three function modules? The first function module is open underscore form. With the help of this function module, we will open the script. After that, we will call the function module write underscore form. With the help of write underscore form, we will write that data to the SAP script, various windows of SAP script. If you remember, in SAP script, we designed the various windows. So in those windows, we want to write that data. So we will make use of which function module? Write underscore form. And then finally, we will close the script using the function module close underscore form. So we will make use of the three function module with the help of open underscore form. Firstly, we will open the script. Then we will write the whole data in the windows of the script. Then we will close the script. Same thing. I'll say in case of smart form, you have one function module, SSF underscore function underscore module underscore name. Yes, after this, you have a playlist of Adobe form also. In Adobe form also, we have three function module, FP job open, FP function module name, FP job close. So we are opening the job, we are closing the job, and in between, we are calling the Adobe form. So in case of SAP script also, we will make use of the function module. And what are those function module? Open form, write form, and close form. So what I will do? I will make use of these three function modules. Before we will use the function module, we will go for a point and so many times that point is covered. I am going for a single order number. Our, we are going for a order number, single input of order number. Whenever that input will go to header table, if I will go to header table, suppose I am passing order number one as a input. If I will go or input as order number one, how many records will come from the order header table? Always, always one record will come. Suppose if I will go to contents of the table, we are going for single input. Suppose order number one. How many records will come? Only single record will come. Suppose I am going for input two, order number input, order number is equal to 2 as the input. How many records are coming? One record is coming. And our input to the program is single order number. And we are sure whenever that input is going to order header table, we are always, always getting a single record. And you all know very well, whenever you are sure that you are getting a single matching record. So rather than loop, 
can we go for read table yes compulsory we can go for read table so for order header table i will simply simply write read table read table internal table into work area and we all know we have the single record in the internal table so i will write index one because we all know we have single record into this first internal table not in the second internal table in the second table we have multiple records for a order number yes now i will make use of the three function modules now what is the first function module open underscore form so i will go to pattern button now i will go for first function module open underscore form i will go for enter now you can see we have so many exporting parameter here it means those all are importing into this particular function module so i will simply simply uncomment exporting now firstly i will pass the name of the script whenever i want to open the script you have seen we have a parameter here form uncomment this particular parameter and in front of this pass the name of your sap script which you created so i will go to sc71 this is sc71 this is our script which we created now i will go for this particular script now best practices never never forget to uncomment the exceptions so we opened the script parallelly i will use close underscore form also and in between open form and close form then we will go for write underscore form now i will go for close underscore form also i will go to pattern button and here i will write write underscore form i will go for end now i will simply simply close the script also never never forget to uncomment the exceptions sorry i think i called write underscore form i should call close underscore form sorry it's a mistake at my end i will call close underscore form then we will go for write underscore form in between this now i will simply simply uncomment the exceptions i will check the syntax and i will activate up to this level so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we discussed that whenever we want to call the sap script from the driver program we will make use of three function module open underscore form which will open the script after that we will call write underscore form which will write that data into the various windows of the script and then we have to close the script using close underscore form after that what we did we simply did a read table statement for the first internal table because we all know always always one record will come into the first internal table we called the first function module and we pass the name of our sap script in front of form parameter then we called the 
close underscore form function module. Now in between this open form and close form, we will write the logic for the right underscore form. That part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.